Good morning, YouTube. It is another nice and cold 40 degree weekend here in Austin. Yeah, I know it sounds like we're we're brats, right? We're not used to this kind of weather. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to a couple of Goodwills today, look for some shoes and uh, to see what's profitable. And I'm taking you guys with me, so let's go. Okay, we did find a, quite a few here and we're just gonna go through the comps but uh you know there's a couple air maxes for 12 bucks so that's not too bad we gotta see the comps i want to check out those north faces as well kind of dirty but if they can be clean and they're worth the time then definitely so let me go ahead and go through everything and uh, show you guys what is worth the time these Air Maxes at 12 bucks look like they're gonna be worth it. Uh, the grip is good. Now they are a little dirty in the toe box, so I'm gonna have to put in a little bit of work uh, to restore these, but they should be good. So, as well as these Brooks Women's Ghost Eighth Edition shoes, a uh, quick twenty dollars, but there is some tear right there. So. I'm probably going to leave these behind since I'm kind of looking for the best condition shoes and there's a little bit of wear on the grip. So uh, we'll leave these behind but it seems like the uh, different colorways, other colorways than this one makes some good money, about 60 bucks. But uh, this one's only bringing in about 20 online. So Check out this old school throwback get this sweater, or uh, windbreaker rather. Comps weren't really too great so we're going to leave it behind. I haven't seen one of these in a while. So not a whole lot going on in that Goodwill. Ended up picking up those Air Maxes for about 12 bucks. They should be going online uh, anywhere from 49 to 59 bucks. Um, yeah, the yeah, the other shoes I came across, they were either the comps were really bad. Uh, I noticed maybe a few flaws in the shoes. Actually, I got to take a left. But that's all right. A few uh, of the coats looked promising, but uh, they ended up having a couple of tears, a couple of stains. So I'm not really wanting to deal with that. And then there was, I didn't see any bags really. I went through the electronics, but it looked like I was gated in some of the, uh, well actually not gated, but apparently some of the VCRs there, uh, they're marked as non-FBA. So I left them there. But uh, that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and go to the next spot, see what we come across. Look, we came across again another pair of Cascadias. They want $9.99. Uh, well, I'll have to double check this colorway though. I'll go ahead and post the comps of what I found at the moment. I'm gonna take these back to my basket though and uh, kind of do a little bit more research. So, I was checking out the jerseys. I did see this one, but the comps weren't too great. I just wanted to double check it because I did uh, see the embroidery on there, but uh, nothing really else here that uh, I figured it wouldn't be worth anything though. Here is another brand, Mizunu's, but for $9.99, I think I might leave these behind. I'm trying to buy as low as possible and still high, so probably leave these behind. I noticed the shoelaces are kind of messed up as well. So. Did a quick browsing through the bags and saw this one on the floor, $6.99. Go ahead and put the comps. It is a little dirty though, so we'll see. Was well, checking out the jackets. Did come across CB Sports Pullover. Wasn't too familiar with the brand, but uh, they want 10. So if you can find it underneath five, I said it's worth picking up. Um, the comps are pretty much all over the place, so I wouldn't take a risk. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it behind now. So we're here at the Goodwill where I usually pull some good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the spots and see if we find anything. Another one that's kind of random are these Reebok CrossFits. These are kind of all over the place on eBay, depending on the size and the style. They want $14.99 for these, so I'm just gonna leave them behind just because of the uh, condition. But. Uh, Another one that was interesting and that I recognized from the outlets a lot are the Metcons. 
Uh, the comps are kind of all over the place, but if you can find them for cheap, I do recommend picking them up. They wanted $12.99 for these, and they're pretty beat up, so I'm going to leave them behind. But just another one of those to look out for. Nike, Nike finger traps appear to be uh, decent comps, but uh, they want like 15 bucks for these. But uh, you know, worth keeping an eye out if you find them cheap again. I think here's another pair. I'm gonna go ahead and look these up, but they look pretty beat up. Let's see. Another colorway finger trap max. These look like they were worth picking up, well, except for these that are filthy. The grip is ruined and $12.99, but it's another one of those shoes worth keeping an eye out for you guys come across it uh, at a cheap price. So, 72 Cortez. I think these are the first ones I've seen in the wild. Usually find these at Marshalls or at the outlets. $12.99, they are white. I'll have to do a good look around to see if I, I can really clean these up since they are white and I'm already seeing you know dirt obviously from being at the goodwill but yeah there you go guys Cortez so I'm making my way uh, to the end getting ready to go check the bags the North Face router bag so uh, kind of surprised I actually found something in the bag section for once and uh, this is a Jeep brand duffel bag I have a Jeep some kind of a fanboy I'm thinking maybe I'll just get this for me but uh there, go, there it goes, man. Check the bags. Another thing uh, I'd like to share with you guys, some gym equipment. You actually can ship it to Amazon. This is the uh, Tony Little's Gazelle Edge. I have not shipped this piece of equipment. I have shipped other uh, fitness products, but I'll go ahead and put the comps. Now the only thing is it's an oversized box, so you guys can handle carrying it in and out of wherever you live to the, uh, the shipping place. And it's uh, pretty good. I think this is worth 20 bucks, so plenty of profits to be made it's just you got to put in the work there in the boxes okay so I ended up picking up that North Face bag as well as the Jeep uh, duffel bag for my Jeep but I can always resell it if I really wanted to I picked up the 72 Cortezes I'm just gonna have to clean them up really well and uh, before I left when I was checking the comps on my phone one of the employees uh, who's in charge of pricing the stuff in the back saw me he came up to me and he's like, hey, are you a reseller? And I was like, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I'm really as truthful as I can when I go out to these stores. I'm like, yeah, I'm a reseller. The guy was like, oh, I got some Vera Bradley bags. I'm the, I'm the price I'm good for you. I'm gonna bring them out. But the only thing is, uh, I guess he didn't know that the Vera Bradley market on eBay at the moment is pretty saturated or oversaturated. So I thanked them. I checked the comps, of course, but there was a bunch of like lunchable totes, like small totes for like sandwiches and lunches. So not too much to be made. And then that's when I saw that piece of gym equipment that if I didn't have this uh, Jeep packed with shoes, I probably would have picked it up. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid of shipping bulky stuff to Amazon. I've done it in the past, but uh, you know, I thought I'd share that tip with you guys if you're struggling to find a few things to flip. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and I wish I had more time to get, get to another Goodwill, but it's already one. I need my afternoon coffee and I gotta start listing all that stuff. So we'll go ahead and go back to the house and uh, review what we, uh, what we found. We're back in my place. Uh, we finished shopping at three Goodwills. Now, uh, I wanted to go to a fourth, but there wasn't enough time. I kind of spent too much time at that third Goodwill. So next time I'll make note of that and just try to get out of there as soon as I can. But of course I did get sidetracked with the Goodwill employee trying to help me out. You know, shout out to him. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show you got to build those relationships and kind of be, you know, uh, transparent in what you do uh, as far as reselling goes. So this weekend's pickup was the Air Maxes that I got at the Goodwill for, uh, let's see here, $12.99. The comps are anywhere from $40 to $59.99. And, uh... Overall, pretty good pickup. I just got to clean them up a little bit. There's a little bit of staining right there, but it's on that meshy part. So with a toothbrush and some dish soap, uh, I should be able to get that out, no problem. And as well as this week's honorable mention, the North Face router bag, which brings in about 50 online. I bought this for $5.99. There's a little bit of stains, but I'll just run it through the, through the uh, washing machine. 
and we should be good to go just clean it up a little bit as uh, best as I can and uh, we should be set. That's all the time we have for this week. If you enjoyed the video hit like hit the sub button it helps support the channel and uh, feel free to leave in the comments what you found this week and I'll see you guys in my next thrift video.